Healthwise FAQ. It's Healthwise FAQ on Body and Soul Upsize. Welcome back, everybody, for another edition. Our theme this week is how to lose weight. One of the most common questions, probably the top New Year's resolutions of all time. It's always about losing weight. So we're giving you a step-by-step, a guide-by-guide, play-by-play, and how to do that for you, the busy working professional. Joining me on the series, Fitness Director Sunny Reyes and Senior Physiotherapist Declan Halpin from Radiance PhysioFit, located at Axa Tower at uh, Tanjung Paga area. Okay, Sunny, i got to start with you. Once you're back in the gym, it's day one. You are there for the very first time. How do you get them started? In the last edition, you told us it's important to you know be gradual about things. That's right. Uh, first, I'm going to, um, of course, talk to my client and what's their history about strength training, weight training, or weight loss. People will lie. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 I used to bench press this much, and yeah, I used to be very active. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Actually, they, they can really do that if they're intense before, but again, if you stop for a year or two, there's going to be a, a new story. Mm. So it means what we're going to do is to going to start with the assessment of the strength, assessment of um, their cardiovascular endurance, assessment of our head-to-toe strength and everything. Okay. So from there, we can uh, design a program which is suitable for short-term goal and long-term goal. What so do we do on day one to start it off? Day one, actually, I'm going to check definitely all the movements and flexibility. How? Flexibility starts with all muscle groups stretching, like stretching your calf, your quadriceps, bending over. Most of people actually can't reach it. I know, it's the simplest thing, but it's hard to do if you haven't been active in a while. It is. If you've been sitting the whole day, how can you reach your toes? Usually mm. it's very tight, tight on your lower back, tight on your hamstring if you stop for a long time. I think one of the one of the interesting things of range of movement is, is asking someone to squat. Mm. Yeah. If you ask a if you ask a two year old to if you watch a two year old playing with their toes playing with their toes or their or their toes. toys, toys. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're squatting in a perfect position with a perfect full back range. down full range of movement. You ask a 45-year-old man to do the same thing, and he can barely he can get, barely get below 90. Below 90 degrees. Oh, gosh. So re- I, I don't even want to try now. I'm concerned. So that's what you do. You put them through these range of motions and movements just to the, get them used to the flexibility and moving around. We just ask them to do what their body should be able to do naturally, and we have a look and see where their weaknesses are, where the imbalances are, and then we start targeting those. Okay, so okay, great. It sounds like something that's doable, and, and, and it, can, it sounds gradual. Do you start them on the difficult stuff straight away? Not really. We're going to check the endurance. Mm-hmm. Since cardiovascular endurance, we need to check their heart rate from resting actually to 60 or... We're not going to 85% right away. Maybe 60 or 70 comfortable. Mm-hmm. Comfortable uh, breathing and pulse rate. And then afterwards, we're going to check the strength whether everybody should be doing push-ups. Mm-hmm. But um, I think some people who stop doing strength training might do a two or three push-ups, that's it. It's, uh, using your own body weight seems to be the key. Yes. We will start with own body weight, actually. This body weight exercise can be very, very difficult. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of varieties of exercise. So, But we're going to start really, really basic. Like I said, squats, push-ups, sit-ups. These are main, main basic exercises that everybody should do. Well, think about when's the last time you did some push-ups if you're listening in right now. I wonder how many do you think you can do still something as basic as that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, let's talk about aches and pains because after that first one, Declan, that's going to come in and hit you hard the next day. Yeah, and it's really important that people recognize the difference between uh, good pain and bad pain. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you do a workout, you feel a little bit stiff afterwards and you feel a little bit sore. And it's important to recognize that that's not a reason to stop exercising. <laughs> but there are things that you can do to help with that, to, to stop those aches and pains coming. So when you finish your, your, your workout, and your trainer should take you through this, you should learn how to cool down properly. You should learn how to, to do a little bit of uh, sub-maximal exercise, walking to clear the lactic acid, walking or, or gentle cycling, and then stretching. Mo- work, those ex- work those muscles through their range of movement. And then there's other things like foam rollers and uh, massage balls, trigger points, things like that. that really some pain. Yeah, exactly, that the trainer can, can take you through um, and, and to keep you, keep you exercising because that's the key. Yeah, so it's true. I mean, when you're aching and you're, you're hurting, it, more movement, more stretching is better. In it, the worst thing you could do is just stay in bed, right? Oh, 100%. And how many times do we, do we, do we hear people saying, oh, I, I was stiff and sore, so I stopped exercising for a week and yeah. then I went back? And I was stiff and sore again. Oh, this exercise isn't for me. <laughs> I must ask our fitness trainer, when people tell you I'm too sore to work out today, what do you the, tell them? The answer to that is actually do 
an exercise which is lighter than the, what you did last time, then okay. that uh, takes out all your aches in your body. Okay, I thought you were going to shout at them or something like that. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's not boot camp. Hey, we're going to find out what you need to do in the next half uh, of your workout, which is the stuff you're doing in the gym is one thing, but what are you doing at home? What are you doing every day? What are you doing with your diet? Get the advice from our fitness director, Sonny Reyes, and senior physiotherapist, Declan Halpin, from Radiance Physio Fit, in the next edition of HealthWise FAQ. HealthWise FAQ.